What's going on guys? Today we are back with the 71 Chevelle SS. So we are starting the block sanding process. We got the high build primer on in the last video and I'll kind of show you where we're at block sanding the entire car. All right, so if you didn't see the last video, you can see we put some high build primer on it and this has kind of a little bit of a rough texture. That way you can sand through it and then you get something like this on this door and this right here is just some self etching primer that's for any spots that we block sanded down so far that the bare metal was exposed we just hit those with some self etching primer that way whenever we do our primer surfacer which is going to be the same primer just a little bit reduced then it'll actually adhere to the panel so that's what all this stuff right here is so all this prep work right here was done with 320 grit I'll show you the rest of the car though everything is turning out really good the whole car is officially in high build primer and we're just blocking the entire thing so i've blocked pretty much to this body line on both sides and then i got to do the rest down today and of course the fenders and the other door and the hood the deck lid i got done it's pretty much ready to shoot some paint on it again we probably will sand out the self etching primer a little bit with something like 400 maybe just to get it all smooth and blend in and then we'll do the primer surfacer on top of that all right the good thing about the high build is that as you're sanding like right here you can see that little darker spot and if you fill it it's a little rough that's because when you're going through it and block sanding it you're not hitting that spot so that's why it still feels like that so that means that that would be a low spot which means that you have to go through and just fill that spot in and so far those are the only spots on the whole car that i see any kind of issues with so I think there was something up here on the hood too, but. So for this, I'm using a DuraBlock kit. This kit's pretty nice because it pretty much comes with everything you need. I think there's a couple blocks that I don't have in here because I have them at my, in my barn at my house, but I like using this one. It will actually form to the panel a little bit. It's pretty rigid, but it does have some flex to it. This thinner one here, you can see, has a little bit of flex, so it'll contour to the panel a little bit better. This one obviously ain't going nowhere, super thick. And then you've got a cylinder type one that you can get some of the curved body lines and stuff like that. So this kit's amazing. I use it for pretty much block sanding all my projects and all these pretty much get everything that you need to block sand. So I will leave a link to this in the description if you guys wanna check that out. All right, so we're gonna get started on this door. It hasn't been touched yet. Obviously for this round part right here, we're using the cylinder style block and then up here, there's a little bit of a curve, so we'll use it there too. The rest of this will just hit with a bigger flat block. All right, we're gonna set up the GoPro and we're gonna do some time lapse.
All right, so as you can see, the panels are starting to get really, really smooth. And then after that, we'll go through with a primer surfacer before we spray our base coat on. I'm still just kind of like making my way down the body. I'm not gonna bore you with the entire car because obviously there's nothing really exciting about block sanding. We did find a little bit of a low spot right there. We're gonna have to fill that up with some filler. And then again, there's some areas on the back here we have to fill in with a little bit of filler just to kind of make everything nice and smooth. But as you can see, it's coming along. We're very close to getting some base coat on there. Uh, we're gonna have to go through and just kind of scuff up the door jams and everything before we get ready to spray the primer surfacer on. And basically that'll go on with a finer tip. That way it lays on nice and even because that is not a coat that you typically sand. So you wanna just spray that on. All right guys, again, I'm not gonna bore you with doing the entire car because obviously it's just block sanding. It is a very tedious process. It's super important though, if you wanna make sure that you get a nice quality finish. We're gonna wrap up all the block sanding on this and then I will update you guys on the next video when we actually go to spray this car. Other than that, I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you like the video, share it if you know somebody who's into 71 Chevelles and just kind of help to grow the channel. So other than that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.